So this whole Australia social media ban finally kicks in on December 10th, 2025. And honestly, it's way stricter than people think. Basically, if you're under 16, you straight up can't create or keep accounts on platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, pretty much everything most people use every day. And even if you're older, there's a chance that the system misidentifies you and flags your account anyway. That's actually written into the guidelines. Platforms have to start using things like facial estimation, video selfies, or IDs to verify ages, so mistakes are going to happen. And all existing accounts from anyone under 16 have to be deleted or shut down, no exceptions. Not even with parental consent. It's honestly one of the biggest social media crackdowns anywhere, and the privacy part is the real concern, because the more verification methods these companies are forced to use, the more personal data gets collected, stored, and potentially exposed. So this is where a VPN comes into this conversation. A good VPN basically protects your online identity by hiding your IP address, preventing DNS leaks, and letting you bypass region-based restrictions. And if you're in Australia and you want to avoid the whole age verification mess, or you're just trying to keep your privacy intact, a VPN gives you a way around it without doing anything complicated. All right, so let me actually show you XVPN because that's what I've been testing on my PC. And honestly, it's one of the simpler VPNs I've used. They have over 100 million downloads and they also support the trusted protocols like OpenVPN and WireGuard, along with their own Everest protocol that's designed specifically to bypass censorship. So to bypass the social media restrictions, it's literally two steps. So step one is open XVPN and connect to any server outside of Australia. Singapore works the best. Step two, once the VPN is connected, open whichever platform you want. And in most cases, the age verification pop-up will disappear. And if you need to make a new account, use a fresh email so it doesn't get flagged. And one thing you absolutely want turned on is the kill switch. That way, if your connection drops for even a second, your real IP doesn't leak out. So XVPN actually has a real free plan. It's not one of those 500 megabyte limits. It's unlimited data, and you don't even have to log in or create an account to use it. You can just download it, and it'll connect immediately. You get access to servers in 15 plus countries. 26 free locations and the kill switch still works too, which is pretty rare for a free plan. So if you're brand new to VPNs or you're just trying to bypass the social media restrictions without paying anything, that free plan is honestly enough to just get started. But if you decide that you want more speed or you're doing this thing long term, the premium version is obviously going to be the stronger setup. You get access to over 10,000 servers across 80 plus countries and you get faster bandwidth, more stable connections, and additional security tools. And if you're on a PC, this is where it gets really interesting because the premium plan includes an ad blocker, browser protection, and a dark web monitor, also storage cleanup, and even startup management tools inside the app. And all of that is included, not add-ons. So if you're someone who wants a complete privacy setup, not just a VPN, the premium plan is going to give you what you want for sure. Now, as far as privacy goes, XVPN does have a no log policy. They don't track your browsing history. They don't track your IP location or your personal information. And their servers are moving toward full RAM only setups, which basically means nothing is stored long term. They also publish transparency reports with government data requested numbers. So if you want to check out XVPN for yourself, I'll put a link at the top of the description as well as at the top of the comments. Their premium plan is $2.99 a month on the two-year plan, and you can also try the free version instantly without even creating an account. And if you want more walkthroughs or updates on privacy tools like this, just hit the thumbs up. It really helps a ton. And also let me know what else you want me to test. You can leave me a message down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. So until then, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.